for a long time, communities in Nyumbe district have complained of mangoes going to waste due to lack of markets. Like Yumbe now needs a full-fledged research to really understand the potential of uh, these mangoes. Because if you look at what has been bought, it's just 0.04%. But after Makere University, Uganda police and Uganda prison services taking the mobile fruit processor in the district, things are looking up. It provides us hope that a machine like this is, is, is something that we should have in every district. And not only one, depending on the level of production of fruit. We've observed in Yumbe, I think next season we are likely to have, uh, we, we, the, the demand for this machine is going to be higher. But of course we thank the president for these innovative ideas. Makere had an idea that we can process mobile fruit. He was convinced and he gave us funds to do that. And as you might have seen, it is doing wonders. And the people are saying actually they would need more of this, if not a factory. Women and children walk long distances to bring mangoes to the mobile fruit processor and are paid 300 shillings a kilo rather than 100 they previously used to get. This recent technology has given us a lot of hope that with a lot of mangoes that we have in Yumbe, we believe that uh, our communities can now reap quite a lot from uh, the sale of mangoes. But even with a mobile fruit processor, the yields surpass the capacity of the machine, which is why locals appeal to government for a factory. Over 30 tons of juice from mangoes have been produced since last week in Upper Sub County, one of the 13 sub counties that make up Yumbe District. It is expected to move around the district and is currently in Ikuru Sub County. The mobile fruit processor has come at the right time. However, the supply exceeds its capacity. Residents are calling for more of this type or a factory. Joseph Bule, UBC, Yumbe District.